Hello and welcome back to the Avatar mod for Crusader Kings 2. So we are basically waiting for gold so we can buy uh, this tribe into a stronghold and hopefully avoid any sort of nomad agitation malarkey that might go on there. And we're raising a dog. Our, dro our dog is growing quickly, is no longer a little puppy. He runs fast and has a keen nose and your dog handlers praise his good character. Ah, so we got a good dog. Now in case you don't know there is bad dog as an event and uh involves deaths and horrible stuff and it, it it's good that we got a good dog good dogs are good right levy reinforcement rate went up so we're gonna have some more um men if we actually have a weak uh, an unfilled levy which we don't really but that's fine we don't need to worry about that uh yeah so we need 500 gold it's gonna take us a while to get there we're just kind of ticking up oh what's this child lacks an education focus so this is am lee ama not a bender, so quite happy to have my wife educate her. And she needs to have a focus. I think duty is a fine focus for her. She has kind of balanced stats, kind of continues that line. Now, is there anything else we could have her do? I'm just going to see, like, um, do we have any, like, uh, we do have a daughter. She's 14. We don't want 14. I'm looking for somebody who's a little bit older. I was trying to see if they're, maybe she's too old. I'll try to look to see if there was anything else we could do with our daughter. I mean, we can't really make her a spiritual guide or anything. This, I was kind of thinking maybe we could give her, like, um, faith or something. Try and really go into that side of things. But I don't think you can actually force that to happen. So I guess we'll just give her duty. Just give her duty and make her as good as she can be. Yeah, there we go. And then the other one is education. And you already have some traits. You have timid, fussy, wrath, and curious. So neither, none of them do well under stewardship. None of them do well under intrigue. None of them do well under martial. Curious does well under diplomatic. Yeah, but fussy doesn't. That leaves you with learning? Yeah, it kind of leaves you with learning because timid does well. Yeah, you're learning. Right. Uh, and we can imprison this person for trying to fabricate a claim on our stuff, but we're not going to do that. No. And she's in hiding, so we can't do that anyway. Okay. Um, Sai Khan has written a story in my honor. Apparently he wants me to know that I'm the best person in the world. Oh, well, thank you, random person who I don't really know. Our great nephew, I think. If it's our niece's son, his great nephew. Uh, I can tell stories just to impress him. So making an idolizer, we gain some prestige, or I'm just a responsible adult. Um, let's try and impress him. Let's make him happy. There we go. He's gained idolizer. He is ugly as well, but that's nothing to hold against him. Right, keep gaining our money. Um, there's an epidemic going on, a major one. Uh, the Fuyang district has been taken over by Governor Marco the Bold. Okay, and then that must mean this person has joined uh, our courts in some way. I just want to have a look at this epidemic. What have we got? We got the uh, deadly purple pentapox and the scorched blight. Uh, and we also have uh, vermin mites, which is somewhere. Oh, it's all the way over there in the uh, Fire Nation's main place. Okay. Now, it said one of them was in our realm. It doesn't mean the Earth Kingdom. No, it means literally our realm, like down here, or very, yeah, it means this one. Okay, so our nephews with the, is actually Tigata already. Uh, we're going to switch into this mode. If it comes closer, we're going to instantly close the gates uh, when it becomes an option. Uh, we request you honor your obligation and answer this call to arms against Governor Anxi of Wafang. Okay, who is Governor Anxi of Wafang? In the War of Expansion. So this is your War of Expansion? Uh, who are you? You're Bishy. Yes, it's his War of Expansion. 1,500 versus 9,000. Of course we're accepting. Yeah, you're going to win it either way. Uh, that's a lot of men. There's a lot of men. The army, uh, the army of Governor Jin Wei. Okay, is that you? The Earth King's army? Okay, that's not good. Um, okay. Well, we're just gonna not join in. 
So we'll see how that goes. A uh, hunting dog needs proper training. Well, I will train him personally. Right. Technological advancement. Which one do we want to go for here? Military organization's always good. Gets you retinue. Very, very useful. Uh, warrior weapons. Oh, okay. So this is non-bender attacks. Then you got bending arts. So if we want to make our bending stuff better, we probably don't care too much. Yeah. Siege machines is interesting because it actually gives you more bonuses than normal siege would. Um, I think what we want to do is we want to just go military organization. Does that give us more retinue? Do we have any retinue? It gives us enough that we could actually start getting um, ostrich horse uh, retinue or infantry companies. Uh, both which are good. Do we want earthbender ones? Do we care about getting earthbender ones? How many earthbenders do we get? 200 for 84 gold. It uses 600 cap. So that's a 1 in 3 ratio. This one, it is 200 for 33, and it's, uh, let's have a look here. So it's 200 for 237. This one at the top here is 250 for 437. And then the bottom one is 100 for 300, so that's 1 in 3. So it's the same ratio as this one. Okay. Do we know anyone who has ostrich calf? Can we look at your armies a second? No. Hmm. Do we have any ostrich calf? If we, like, raise an army? Uh, we have benders. We know what they are. So are they three... Basically, the question is, are they three times better? I feel I've already done this. In, like, the non-bender. Um, they are more than three times better in attack. On defense, they're about twice as good in one category. And slight, uh, like mostly the same in the other two categories. Okay. So does the question is is five times better in attack good? I don't know. Is it better than guard? It's much better than guard in attack. Actually, I think guard is weaker than heavy infantry is by default. So that uh, that might be something. Yeah, I think banders are better. Like all around the most. Cav are better though. Cav are better. Assuming ostrich cav are as good as cav, that would imply that it would be best to go for cavalry. But you only get 100 for 42 gold. It's a little expensive. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a hobby we can't really get into right now, retinues. I don't think we can afford it. Soon though, soon. Uh, we are of course going to go after the Great White Stag. Yeah. Uh, our leash is winning, not our leash, our, um, I've been playing another campaign where it's always our leash. Um, our ally is winning this war. Ooh, cultural tech points. We'll take those. Yeah. Ooh, cultural advancement. Legalism level three? Definitely. That allows us to switch into late feudal administration. Yep. Uh, sure, I'm, I've never done council consideration. I want to see what it is. Okay. Does it just tell you if it succeeds or fails? Or it'll just tell you whether they'll vote yes or no? Oh, okay. Uh, the council is currently considering it. You have gathered your followers and your hunting dogs. You've saddled your horse and prepared your weapons. The council would just vote no on it. So can I just give it up now? There we go. Okay. Interesting. So it's the exact same as hovering over. Okay, actually, I, it's good I did that instead of trying to push the law forward. I actually noticed everyone's against it. Um, we're going to do... We spend weeks in the wilderness uh, search for any trace of your prey, but you're forced to return empty-handed. You're sure no one's impressed by your failed adventure. Right. Uh, are we missing a council? Oh, one of our council members has gone seclusion. Okay. We'd quite like them to vote with us. So why are you not voting with us? Because they don't want... Um, they want people to be weak, so they don't want us to switch into late feudal. Okay. We buy favors. 80 gold a favor. So we buy two favors. Basically, this is what we're getting at. Anyone have a cheaper favor? 80 gold. Favor. 98 gold. Yun. 80 gold. 68 gold. Ooh. 
So we can get two favors straight off the bat. That puts us at three versus three. Is that enough to win? I think you have to get majority. I could be wrong. though. I, I will accept if I'm wrong. Wait, did she just do it for us? Does that apply to us? It does not apply to us. It only applies in her realm. I mean, she wants to change inheritance law as well, which is interesting. Um, right. Wait till we get a little bit more money. In the past months, you've been spending a lot of time outside training your hunt trusty hunting dog. You find that the combination of daily physical exercise and fresh air are doing wonders for your health and constitution. Fantastic. We'll live a little bit longer. That's good. Um, oh. That's the reason our counselor went in. It's because this is very close to our land. Can we close the gates yet? Yes. Why is that not popped up as a thing? Huh. Okay. Shut the gates, please. Yeah, I, I really don't want to be murdered, if possible, by um, invisible, like, you know, things. That, that sounds a lot better than it's just, like, bacteria getting us. Well, why actually is this disease? Oh, it's the uh, deadly purple pentapox. Oh, well, it's not that bad, then. Right, um... Is everyone idle? Yeah, everyone's idle, pretty much. You would like to blackmail me. Uh, in the name of the pretender, Li Shen of uh, Haish... Of uh, Haishaleo is... Okay, Li Shen of Haishaleo is the uh, true ruler of Zai Sigao, is recognized by myself and other nobles. Um, relinquish the title or there will be war. Who is Li Shen? Is that our brother? Li Shen is our brother. How's the fa faction look? It's just this faction? Okay. Is that your nephew? Uh, can we kill him? There's a chance we could kill him if that's the path we want to take. How many men do you have? 1.5. We have... Not that many. Okay, I'm going to raise up all the men that we have. I'm going to put them on boats because I have no shame. There we go. Get on boat. Get on boat. Get on boat. You're going to get disbanded. Uh, you are going to get on boats. And merge you. Do you have any more boats? Probably not. We're going to take these boats and we're going to send them up here. Right. I will not be blackmailed. Yeah, she declares a revolt war. Thing is, we already raised up all the men we need, so we're going to go win the war. Oh, wait, she got extra men. Who should she call in? She didn't call in anyone. That's the other war. Yeah, uh, that is the other war, which uh, I believe that our, our ally lost. Can we call in our allies? We can. Perfect. I forgot we had allies we can call in. Uh, yes, definitely. They'll both join in. The alliance between us has broken down. Oh, why did it break down? Because he said no. Oh. That's just annoying that you would say no. Do you want an alliance? Yeah. Okay. That'll work. Uh, merge up. Get on the boats. Do we have the right leaders? We have no leaders. We have no leaders at all. We have no commanders. Um, we have commanders. Are they all secluded? They're all in seclusion with us. I think we open the gates so that we can have commanders on our army. I think overall having commanders on our army is more important than having the gates open. Or shut. Do we want to lead? Kind of want to lead, yeah. And Kim Lee, I also want to have with us. I think. Yeah, we'll have Kim Lee with us. Right. Let's head down here. They have a lot more men than us right now, but that's fine. It broke down. Why did you not join my war? That's really weird that they both decide not to join my wars. I'm gonna wait a sec. Did I look at the wrong war? Maybe. We got our alliances back. I don't know why they both refused to join. It's really weird actually that they both refused to join. Do we have better leaders than they do? Oh, well, that's a tough question. I think we have better leaders than they do. If we do, then we have enough men to win the war. Do we have a better place to fight? Maybe these hills are a better place to fight. I'm going to go here, and then I'm going to go here. There's an important reason. I want our morale to tick up. Are we taking attrition here? I'm not happy about taking attrition here. Okay. We can sit in this province and be fine. 
I think the AI will be tricked into attacking us. If we attack him, then back off. What have we got here? Plains, hills. Oh, we're not leading anymore. Weird. Um, why are we not leading? It, it, it did this with last time we tried to lead an army as ourselves. I guess we'll put Yun in charge, which kind of means that that side's weaker. In fact, both our sides are extremely weak. How much are mercs? Mercs are... 56 for that many? That's not a lot. Okay, how about this one? Again, it's not a lot of money. You're not getting a lot of mercs for your bucks. And we can't afford them. So we could definitely tie our tight chill band. They'll appear near Tai Sagao. Yeah, okay, I think we'll win the fight there. I'm going to head back here with these boats. I'm going to hire the mercs and I'm going to bring them over. If we believe that we can win that fight with the current men, then we shouldn't be worried about moving. Which I think is a fair position to take. Uh, our son needs an education. Learning? No. Well, that gives him idolizer, but that's fine. Conscientious goes well here. It's not indolent or haughty, so actually that works fine. You can have that one. Right. Uh, that's the wrong one. I want to get Merc. Yes. Get on the boats. You're coming around here. That'll work. And then we get rid of the boats because the boats are costing us money. And that should hopefully pay for the mercs as well. Why would I ever join your war? You know, like, set. But why would I ever join your war? Come join my war. Of course he answered. Oh, well, yeah, like it says, of course I'll answer your call to war. We could attack in here. Do we think we're stronger? He is 138. We have 143 special. Our sides are strong-ish. We can't really afford to wait. We have more... We're, we have less NB, which is we have less non-bender infantry. But we have more... We have less cav. We have more benders, though. Um, assuming our leaders are better, we should fight, I think. But they get hill. There's hills there. Hmm. That's unfortunate. I think we wait, then. Tech advancement? Um, stronghold inf infrastructure? Definitely. Oh, we should get rid of the boats. Yeah. They're, co they're costing us money. That, that'll probably get, allow us to afford a little bit more if we get rid of the boats. Also, each second they're sieging, they could lose more men. We have more men than they do now. So each time, like, we want to keep this going. A war of expansion is over, but luckily we now actually have a king in this war. Council position for Spymaster went up, and Vassal Inheritance warning on this guy. They need to have a son, basically, is what we're getting at here. She's age 50, though. She needs to die. That's unfortunate. We're going to lose that to this guy. Um, now, he controls Sunan, which is there. So we will, we're actually going to lose that province, I think. Uh, unless we change succession law. You should be our spy master, and you have t stuff to do. Right. You should be training troops. Um... You should be always performing statecraft. And you are currently a commander, so I can, I'm not going to use you. Right. Regulated inheritance law. Perfect. Our leash uh, preempted this. This should stop that happening. If I've got this right. Designated regent. Um, should definitely be cow. Yeah. I kind of want to attack in, but they're on hills. It's, it's so annoying. we got to wait. There's no way to... I don't think we're 10% stronger, basically. This is what I'm getting at here. I think we're a little bit stronger, but I don't think we're 10% stronger. And there's really not a great way of beating this without them. We need to win in like one battle. Uh, Jin is a good person to spend time with. Okay. Um, okay, you're gonna weaken yourself? We're in budget deficit. Oh no, our mercs went away. Ah, we should have attacked. 
Still think we're stronger. Therefore, I'm going to sit here. I said I'm going to sit here if we're stronger. Oh, what I should do is I should say, come join me to him. I should get some boats and I should go hide over on top of him. Uh, I should get our boats up. Get all of our boats up again. Uh, can I do that? Wait. Is she in prison? Person we're fighting in prison? She is. She's imprisoned by Lady Lee the Just. For what? Uh. Yeah, for what? I I'd be interested to know. Uh, we can only get 15 boats, which means we can't actually get as many. Oh, no, we can get more. There we go. We can still raise them from a province where we have nothing. That's fine. Uh, move them all around there. Right. Get the boats together. If we head a little bit along the river, we can merge up with our... Oh, never mind. Never mind. Our ally may have the men required. Hey, you know what I'm going to do? Just to be uh, ultra safe. I'm there when I press G. Oh, that's weird. Oh, is that like a Silk Road? Ah, it's a trade route. Okay, cool. Uh, I was trying to do is try to get the boats and merge them. Okay. I'm just going to get on. And I'm just going to tell uh, my ally. Kill. Kill, ally. Kill. Get him. Uh-huh. Good job, ally. And we're just going to pop out and join the battle. Perfect. Boats are really useful. Right. Let's go and de-siege. Disband those things. Uh, we're going to tell our ally... Uh, siege. Siege with us. Right. Hopefully that'll work. Uh, an elephant's gone crazy. is running amok uh, in the town. We'll try and capture it. And we did. Fantastic. Well done us. Well, uh, we need a new steward, so I'm going to put one of those in. It's going to be San, currently, because the other one's a commander. Right, uh, we'll put him up in Tai Sagao. We'll get a new commander. New commander is going to be Cow. And we're going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.